श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वो वी टू एक्सप्रेस अवर हार्ट फेल्ट ग्रैटिट्यूड एंड टू मूव टूवर्ड्स द अवेयर ऑफ इज प्रसेंट इन साइड एज फर्स्ट एंड देन आउटसाइड फॉर दैट ही सम इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज नेसेसरी he prompted us to take up in quest of god he facilitated everything for us to delve deep within trying to understand it through our own experiences and finally to make us know that it is a ever guiding manual for our life especially when people are subjected to go through trying periods in their life stressful period papa gives some answer not through tall talks not through shastra the words of shastras not through any high sounding words but through simple anecdotes drawn from day to day life every time he prompts us to go through the text he brings out some new new dimensions mysterious different facets and uh, to top it all this year he prompted us to have this one weeks program unlike other programs which are named as celebrations he made it a point at every stage to point out that this is not a celebration it is a it's a commitment is we are made to commit ourselves to this inward journey by which we will be able to understand or realize his presence do not in a day to day routine at least we will get glimpses of his presence before we retire to bed every day 
in that way he packed everything and uh, to guide us all he also prompted param pooja swami padmanabhan ji maharaj of divine life society rishikesh to to give us the guidance as to how we should uh, observe this one year not only at the time of starting in 2021 but also during this period 2022 apart from that every day he gave us the opportunity to have the darshan thanks to the science and technology to have the darshan of mahatmas and each one trying to we we are the moment they come before us we are reminded of the path they have chosen that was the purpose from an ordinary individual to a tevra sadhaka and then to a evolved soul so the, when we view view it from that angle papa was bringing before our mind concrete examples of those who have felt the presence of god within and we take it now can we take it as the take home message each one has to ask these questions in all outward activities especially when we are in student when we are students or sadhakas some periodical tests are necessary you know exams so today he is trying to conduct a mini exam for all of us not for getting marks not for getting pat on our back not for anything tangible but really to understand we are trying to dig out you know whatever he has provided all these months and for the past one week in particular some of the points which he wants us to carry it in our heart and this time he also facilitated that if we are no, we if we forget about all these things there is some science and technology has again blessed us with an opportunity to record all these proceedings and whenever we are in a mood the sense whenever he prompts us from within to go deeper and deeper and deeper it is provided in the youtube or uh, what is the channel papa centenary ah uh, it will be there for us it is not for public it is for sadhakas like us for example pooja swami uh, padmanabhan ji he came here and uh, on the 22nd and from 24th onwards 24 25 26 27 and 28 he gave us precious words of wisdom which are the beacon lights you know that show us always we may not be able to remember all agreed humanly it is not possible because we we we, are, we have not trained our mind to get focused and just like in a computer always control c control v and that is not possible for us but still some out of so many things he has placed before us some we will pick and see for ourselves whether we have retain this even after his session was over we are ex- examining ourselves it is not an examination for outside we are examining for ourselves so this in the next 15 20 minutes we will try what uh, what all we papa facilitated us to remember from the 7 days program 
because right from beginning he has been trying to emphasize that don't treat it as a session or a program or a celebration. It is, a, it is to serve as a boost to our sadhana. And what is our sadhana? To realize his presence within. And what will be our outer uh, expression? Expanding our love circle. Expanding from me to we. And trying to see him. See love in everybody, you know. As much as possible. Absence of otherness, if we could develop this, probably that, that, can, that one word is enough for us to know that this, both inwardly and outwardly we are expanding. And it is for that purpose we take it that he facilitated this one week program and so beautifully arranged, you know. Yesterday one of our friends, Venu Nambiar, was telling 15 kilometers or 20 kilometers from this place. They had very heavy rain day for yesterday. Very heavy rain. So he was worried whether we will... We were not affected, na? Not a drop came here. Adi Devigam, Adi Bhaudigam, Adi Hatmigam, no? These are the three tapatrayas normally we say. So he, he, he protected us from everything. I have, I have arranged everything, so I don't want this to be interrupted in any manner. He, prom he prompted a number of people to get involved silently in arranging everything beautifully. Though we had an unprecedented crowd, he saw to it that everything goes on beautifully. That is why we said, words are hardly enough, Papa, to express our gratitude to you, your love for us, your care for us, your anxiety to take us in our spiritual path. <coughs> and in the text, why he made us to choose in quest of God. No? Spontaneity of life, born of an egoless purity and ignorance, uh, sorry, purity of an innocence, a consciousness of the indwelling and all pervading reality, and a constant effort to see him in all with an unconditional, cheerful acceptance of all situations as ordained by the Lord are the supreme notes and refrain of the voice that rings through the whole text. You see the quintessence. Spontaneity of life. Never it was a product of any thought. Throughout the journey, we will find, never he was looking back for anything. Never he was seeking any guidance from outside. Never he was relying upon anything but Spontaneity. God was prompting him, it came out in the form of spontaneity. Spontaneity of life born of egoless purity. You know? A purity in which the sense of doership is totally absent as an individual, as an individual entity. Sense of individuality is there, but not as a, an asserting entity. So the spontaneity of life, sorry, spontaneity of life born of an egoless purity and innocence. A consciousness of the indwelling and all-pervading reality. Through various episodes, if we find, you know. And a constant effort to see him in all with an unconditional, cheerful acceptance of all situations, as ordained by the Lord, they are the supreme notes and refrain of the voice that rings through the whole text. Now we realize why he made us to choose 
for its sannyas centenary why this particular text so spontaneity of life born of an egoless purity and innocence a consciousness of the indwelling and all pervading reality and a constant effort to see him in all with an unconditional and cheerful acceptance of all situations as ordained by him so the sanyas when we gave so many names swadhyay sanyas and so they are all okay but the real content is this papa you have given us this clue kindly help us to make it a reality at least to some extent because we are we are not matured enough we are we are we are not the prepared instruments still the sense of me and mine is still dominant with all hearing immediately after this program when we start interacting or in uh, with the men and matters uh, we are not sure whether we will be able to keep up this unless and until you come forward you step in and keep on reminding me as a sentinel you know as a watchman hey what are you talking hey what are you thinking hey what are you doing every time you should make me aware of this so that slowly i will be moving towards the goal you are pointing it out with these words we will try to touch upon a few points uh, through given to us through swami padmanabhan ji there are uh, on these four days there is no chronological order we have the us us ramachandra mama when he was writing when he was prompted to write a brief life sketch about puja swami sachidananda ji he gave the title thumbnail sketch thumbnail sketch so similarly this is only a thumbnail the whole body is there you know we have only touched the thumbnail many of you who have been attentive you can keep on adding it probably when we sit and uh, hear and again go through and go through so many things will again come out so these are only to test and kindle you know that is the only purpose this thumbnail uh, factor i mean the points are only to touch and kindle so many things which uh, swami ji has given to us or papa gave to us through swami ji outer activity should correlate with inner aspiration one day he exclusively dwelt upon that we are chanting the name we we are doing bhajan we go to uh, mahatmas we spend some time in ashram at times we read many such noble books or shastras everything is okay but is it reflected in our family life professional life social life so we will be able to reap the fullest benefit only when it is co- it is made compatible so he made it uh, elaborately one day he exclusively took up for that everybody can think what all he brought one day he said fine you have to find the path leading to the go leading to god we have tried so many you know and we know very well that we are there to be very frank to be br- very blunt we feel we are there where we started though our mind keeps on telling that this is there that is there i have know that um, all those things are there good bhajans i remember ramna mai chan beautifully so many things the mind will keep on uh, making us to satisfy okay that's also okay but the real trust is whether we have been able to find the path leading to god repeated reading of shastras here repeated reading of his works 
there are many gems you know in divine life Div uh, glimpses of divine vision thus speaks ramdas hints to spiritual aspirants pathless path so many so many so many so the repeated reading of his works this is our shastra one day he every day he may prompt us to read let us make it a resolve at least we will read a few lines every day any word will take us to the goal definitely at least at the intellectual level then slowly at the practical level repeated repeated hammering you know water when it uh, gets dropped on a rock repeatedly for years together for decades together we will find that the hard rock gets a dent of it you know so repeated 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 from his stand point he used the word shastras but we can add papa's words are more loving than mother's because it it gives us some solace you know some thrill some remedy some clue some hints some support some prop one day swami ji was also making a mention about how to forgive wrong doings by seeing it differently you remember ashutama how draupadi was looking how rama asked barada to revere his mother some of the clues you know in malayalam there is there was a poem which we all read martyenu kaipida janma siddham er to er is human you no know? i must raise myself to a higher level then only i will be able to appreciate that if i deal with men and matters at that level i will not be able to appreciate this so swami ji tried to the, these are all the signs of your progress towards him how should the longing of a devotee be towards god like the calf you know you remember like the small bird child bird looking for its mother like the newly wed couple looking for each other after some time they may not be there but the longing we are trying to understand the longing no he beautifully explained about the when we do the milking no every time because of the because of the presence of the calf the milk gets downloaded to the udder and immediately we remove the calf and then taking it out but the calf will be looking at it you now and as soon as it is left again it will return. that should be our attitude and he also mentioned one day about how the sage handled his son who cursed parikshit you remember he did not find fault with the son but he made him to know that what he did did not deserve he is a noble person it's all right he did something a great lesson for all of us some out of impulse may do something you know? so we should have the sense of otherness if it slowly creeps in we will be able to condone and love them equally that was also halal when then he says start the day with god end the day with god thought fill the day with god thought these are all the words that can take us to some extent brother lawrence the, he was highlighting about the presence of god all articles are objects of worship because they are all created by god 
we owe everything, everything owes its origin to God. So every item, there is nothing is irrelevant, nothing is unimportant, nothing is insignificant. To keep on hammering. There are many, many of these four days. We may try to dig out as much as possible. And he made us also to remember what he told us last year. Even if we forget everything, we remember that uh, bird, when pa its parrot-like repetition was there, and finally when it was let out, it went back and came back. Conceptual presence, you know. That means we are all in the conceptual prison. At, that, at a particular moment, we get elated. We get, you know, enthused by the words of masters, by the presence of masters, by uh, dwelling on masters, so many things. But immediately after that, we fly and then come back again to our own conceptual presence. And he was also making a mention about Martin, you remember? God is not an entity. God, God comes out, expresses himself in the form of values, in the form of all creations. Shravan Manan Nididhyasan. We are all, are we doing it? We have to ask for ourselves. It's a self-examination day for all of us. We are hearing, but are we trying to uh, do the mastication, no? Again and again and again and again. Whenever he will provide opportunities. Though outwardly we may be laughing, acting, so many things will be going on. But inwardly, and we can definitely uh, uh, say authoritatively that the guidance will come to us at the right time through the right source. Even a small act of flag hoisting, you know, he provided us the wonderful message. Otherwise, we will be just doing it as an activity. On seven days, on, in a year, we do this, you know. But it is an assertion of our own commitment to attain the ideal. Kindly remember. So that means, you know, it, it was only a, an example. So whatever we do, we don't do it at the and, and feel content with the activity level, but what it stands for. How do I get the real benefit of moving towards the awareness of his presence within? This should not be lost sight of. And on the 27th day, he made us all to rededicate ourselves by taking the Ramnam initiation from him. It's all right, you, got, you feel that you have got in, initiated, but you check up to what extent you have moved towards the ultimate ideal of becoming aware of my presence within you. So in order to cement, in order to give a fillip, push, he provided an opportunity for all of us to get initiated into the holy and all-powerful Ramnam. Again, to ensure that this does not become a compartmentalized activity, in order to ensure that spiritual life, the, 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 uh, in order to ensure that there is no divide between spiritual life and our worldly life, he made us to dwell on the words of Swami Chidamji Maharaj, daily life and daily sadhana. Both should go hand in hand, because daily life is a field given to us what has been imbibed, or what has been learned through our sadhana. Unless and until it is tested and proven, it will not become ours. These are the words. So at home, in the office, with the friends, whenever I handle anything, 
at a deeper level. Not at the surface level. Surface level need not be there. But at a deeper level. Whether what we have imbibed is getting rooted. Getting slowly percolated. Becoming a part of our thinking system. Whether it, whether, whether, whether it is becoming a culture you know, in me. Then unknowingly it will be expressed in my thoughts, words and deeds. Unknowingly. Because it becomes spontaneous. He also chose so many days, so many occasions for us to remember that we must have daily dialogue. Also in the form of writing letters to him. We need not show the letters to anybody else. Because though the letter writing to him and talking to him enable us, enables us to have the tangible gain of feeling his proximity, nearness. Because he made us to know beautifully he has put four steps. Samipyam, Sanidyam, Vyapanam, Yakatam. Nearness is presence, you know. Nearness, Samipyam. And then Sanidyam is presence within. And then to see him in everybody and to finally become one with him. His own words he will repeat. We have to steadily practice concentration of thought on God until we feel his nearness, until we become aware of his presence, until we have the vision of him everywhere about us, until we realize our oneness with him. These are Papa's precious words. Steadily we have to practice concentration of thought on God, until we feel his nearness, until we become aware of his presence, until we have the vision of him everywhere about us, until we realize our oneness with him. So we have to graduate ourselves from devotees to sadhakas. It is for that purpose he prompted us to have daily dialogue. Which is, the, which is there in Inquest of God in all chapters. Daily dialogue. And then write letters to him. And during this period, he also made us to see and hear his own words in the form of what is spirituality? What is the power of prayer? That was by Papa. And Parambuja Mataji's absence of otherness. Even when people God prompted somebody to take away her life, you know, by strangling to death. And when they had to leave, Kasaragoda Ashram, and finally when God brought about circumstances in such a way that this Ananda Ashram was set up, and after a long time, that must be uh, in 50s or late 50s, when a devotee asked her the question, which Puja Swami Suchidanjadi translated in English, there, from that talk we came to know, that simple Kunkini mixed Malayalam, no? Spontaneously, there, 
Papa had taken to a stage where we don't become aware of any of these things. And the people who were prompted to do this deplorable act in our language, in our language. When they came here, how Mataji received them and how Mataji looked after them. So through this, Papa is telling that all the spiritual discipline is okay, but what is to be what is to be expressed in our day-to-day -day life is absence of otherness. Absence of otherness. And then also we had the privilege of hearing Puja Swami Satchidanandaji's words and his simple and innocent way of expression of a profound idea, no? That human life is a gateway for liberation. One thing more, Swamiji said. What was that? Eh? Ah, that word, if it is there, it is enough. We have to go back to our return home. We started, we don't know now how to return. Because all our outer attractions have uh, put a curtain behind it. Like this, you know, we cannot see what is outside. Similarly, he is there, but I am not aware of it. So I have to lift it or remove this to go back to my real home. So beautifully he brought, brought out. So the Papa also facilitated the different facets of spirituality through his forms of Papa and Mataji. And he also reminded us about that let us not get stuck with the physical form of our masters or any masters. But let us, have, let us, they are, they are the masters for us, not because of the physical form, but because of the ideal they represent. Because of the great noble ideal they touch and that is why there is an inner alignment. And in a simple word, Papa said, you have put Papa Mataji in a frame but actually, Papa Mataji is in everybody's heart. God is in everybody's heart. You are in everybody's heart. Lot of thinking is necessary, no? Lot of thinking and lot of practicing is necessary to understand a, something of it, you know, thumbnail knowledge of it, of this word. Papa Mataji, we, we have put, we all, all of us, we have put Papa Mataji in a frame and we feel satisfied, but that is why we are not going within. But Papa's words, you know, to whom we prostrate, to whom we offer our flowers, about whom we feel highly elated when we talk. But he said, Papa Mataji is in everybody's heart. God is in everybody's heart. You are in everybody's heart. He made somebody to ask about desire and desirelessness. You remember? Contentment, absolute contentment is the desireless state. That means I am full. So through that he is making us to think unless we limit our desires to the barest minimum, simple living, we will not be able to develop contentment. In whatever circumstances, he, does he not know what to be given, what not to be given to us? We are not responsible for our, this birth. He made it possible to give us a sense of individuality after bringing this body. And in this connection, he made us to think about the four or five or six slogans in Srimad Bhagavad Gita about the origin of all this creation, including us. Bijam Maam Sarva Bhutana. He made somebody, some of his form to 
think about, to talk about mental chanting. So that that is one of the easiest method by which we connect ourselves with him who is within us. So how does mental chanting help us to move toward the awareness of his persons? And one important thing at the very beginning of the text he brought to us, what he brought to us, the whole thing is brought out in the one word, great void, which encompasses everything, which includes everything, at the same time which remains untouched and unaffected by any of the things that are happening inside. You will all remember that he brought this word only once. In none of his texts he has brought this great word. We should know the significance. So there, some of the points have been taken out. And in order that uh, it doesn't become a dry journey, every day, he wanted us to go through prayers, Ram Dhyanave, Nineve Shrestha, Nineve Shrestha. Then another day, Brahmanandam, Paramasugatam, Kevalam, Jnana Murtim. Third day is the Thy Glory, remember? To assert what all have been given to us, bounteous gifts. Then again about the impersonal aspect through Pratasmarami. Pratasmarami hridisam spurat atmatatvam satchit sugam paramaham sa gadim turiyam yat sopna jagara sushutim avedinityam tad brahmam nishkalam aham najabhuta sangaha Not this assemblage of matter. Then again, to look within and find out when we take to this inward journey, when we try to convert our chanting to meditative chanting, he again reminded us to concentrate upon Swami Omkarji Maharaj's prayer, adorable presence, thou who art within and without. He makes us to repeat every day, but this time he made us to go within with all intensity. Then on the sannyas day, sannyasa shuktam. That only sacrifice matters, nothing else. There are no other important things for sannyas. Only self-giving. Then about his nature, akhanda mandala agaram. His, his all-pervading, vyaptam yena charajaram. And from all these, some, one, one day he made us to come down to an ordinary level. This day is almost gone. When the night and morning meet, it will be an unalterable memory. One word from this, can anybody remember? If something has gone wrong, no, we should not blame anybody. Apart from this prayer, every day he provided us PPTs and videos. The first PPT and video was, now we will ask, you know, what is that? Not that came later, no? The treasure within. God is there within us, but by merely reading, by merely chanting at the outer level, we will not reach. Emphatic. Unless we do our effort intensely. So he brought out, he made us to think about the sloga from Vivek Chudamani, which was explained to us by Swami Chinmayananji through a, an example the treasure within, how to unearth it. So if the treasure is within, we have been trying, we have been trying from the open, we have not done anything, you know. Hearing is all right, reading is all right, but doing is what is needed. With the crowbar, they have to keep on digging. 
So that was highlighted through that particular shloka and it was presented to us. About faith and trust, to understand it better, he gave us a PPT, rope. Every time when we are made to pass through the severest tests, we are not to feel dejected or dispirited. We should not get frustrated because God knows what is the ultimate from the clay to the teapot, you know. He says, I know the moment I saw you as a clay, what will, you, what will be the finished produce? So the process may be painful, but finished produce when it gets, ah, it says, you know. When it was kept in a, in a shelf, in the, when the mirror was, through mirror, when it saw itself, oh. So not it. And then, God's clinic, remember? Because we go there to diagnose. There are so many uh, limitations we have unknowingly took it upon ourselves. And then God prescribes in simple, simple language. And God's request, you know, another, where he is, he is craving to have, for our turning towards him, you know, beautifully brought out. And suddenly he took us to this very serious words in Vivek Chudamani, the small eye and the big eye. You remember the two birds, Muntako Upanishad? There is an eye and there is, a, there is an eye that is witnessing the eye. You know, there are two eyes. These two words are enough. There is a small eye there and the witnessing eye is there. And this time he gave us 30 boats, you know, remember there? With his precious words. One, one quotation will make us to go within. One quotation will make us to identify ourselves with the rest of the creation. At least for that particular minute or second. It will have its own impact. Thirty boats. And we went through that yesterday. And to make us know of the previous ashram, so that we will not... We will be free from grumblings and complaints. And also to know how this ashram in 57, not in 31. So in 57 itself, if that was the condition. He prompted Ketama and uh, Lari Mama to bring us a beautiful video of Anandashram in 1957. A lot of things are there to be learned. It is not merely seeing it and say, oh, they were like this. No. So many lessons. Even we were wondering, you know, when the when that person was holding the hay, what a, and how he was trying to climb and put it on the top. And how cheerfully everybody was trying to uh, draw the water from the well, carrying it on their head how the celebrations were going on. And we saw the figure of Papa, Mataji and Swamiji and various other people. And also we had the darshan of Mother Hamilton and Ralph Hamilton. These are all not just for seeing, you know. These are all inputs for us towards the ultimate goal of realizing his presence within and then without. We have to stitch it, you know. We request everybody to look at it with that perspective so that it will not just go as an activity. He facilitated. Many of you will remember on the 27th, he made us to take an inward journey apart from the initiation to get us a glimpse of the core of our being in the form of 
and PPT on silence. And also he brought out the words of Peace Pilgrim, who was exactly like Papa. Throwing herself entirely at the mercy of the all-pervading reality, cosmic reality, love. How she has defined about God. You know? All these things he provided. And then, Every day he gave us this wonderful uh, opportunity to see and hear. Every day one month saying, Swami Tejo Ji, who said Papa was endowed with Shraddha, Bhakti, Jnana, Vairagya, loving service for all. Nochur Venkatraman, after realization Papa was led by divine just like a dry leaf blown by the wind. Swami Gautamanji Maharaj of Ramakrishna Mission, IQG left a deep impression on my spiritual life in the form of tremendous faith in the saving power of the Divine Name. And all loving, Mata Amrita We may forget everything, but the stick no bills, you know, on the wall. Nothing else. No need to write that sugar is sweet. Sugar itself is sweet. So, Papa doesn't need any introduction. Ma Devi Gemma said, Purna Kripa received from Mataji and Papa for her spiritual journey through Yogiji. Murali Dara Swami in clear cut Tamil words, you know, simple words. The, his sadhana did not involve yoga, vijara, Dhyana, simple path for attaining the goal, which has been authenticated by his own experience, Papa's experience. Where his constant chanting has charged the ashram atmosphere and it is even experienced today. You will all be glad to know that on an, on an average, every month, we get two cro 200 crores of Ram, uh, divine name. There is a report we give, we get from different people in different regions. That is the capital. That is the working capital as well as the corpus capital for this ashram. Sadyuda Shankarashram Swamiji was making a mention about trust rising above, ut asin. If these two words are there, we have heard him. And now we will hear the message of Swami Padmanabhanji. Before that, one more. We had the, he provided us to hear Ajume Ribinati, Bhajans, Uttishtada, Jagrada, Manadal Vakal in Tamil, Ni and the Ganate, Ni and the Ganate Paduan Uluru in Malayalam. Vaishnava Janato by Yama Subrakshmi, Tum Asha Vishwas, Brahmo Kate, K Jagadata. And Bhajan Sandhya, they came with, from various place, places, specifically on our request to offer their seva through Bhajans and kept us charged and ready for the next day's satsang and enabled us to learn more from the satsang. Murtiji from Mumbai, Satish Kamath from Mangalore, Rangapai from Manipal, Raghavindraji from Hyderabad, Pun Kamaraj from Kanyakumari, Shruti Leya from Chennai, Babu Shenai, Kanyangad, and today we are going to have Amitaji Sutra. So it is, uh, yeah, what all he has provided, you know? He made the them who are sitting there. All these programs, we started uh, deriving the benefit because of the wonderful system that is being operated here. <laughs> Perseveringly, patiently, <laughs> rising to the occasion, they were watching everything and doing. The, because we don't do any vote of thanks here. 
we remember this with gratitude all these programs you were able to enjoy because of the setup you know and the instruments he employed parne manasilai le so now with all these background we will try to hear pujya swami padmanabhan ji precious words which is giving us on the last day of this program we are sure it is audible otherwise we will read out the contents hmm. i was allotted up to 11:30 so okay na prostrations and the holy feet of beloved papa mata ji puja shri swami sachanand maharaj shri swami muktanand maharaj and all those who are in the anandashram <coughs> swami muktanand maharaj informed me when i am before that the anandashram will be celebrating a year long celebration from 24th december 2021 to 31st december 2022 and he requested me that i should participate in both the inaugural and concluding functions so i consider it as a great blessing that uh, i am participating in both the functions so it's a great blessing on me and the great blessing on all of you who are participating in this so i also told me that we other we will have other regular spiritual activities the thrust will be on the swadhyaya of papa's book in quest of god which was papa's first book his uh, experience his spiritual journey how he achieved that enlightenment so it is not just a biography or a travel book is a book which gives all details required for a spiritual seeker how he should proceed So Swami wanted that an in-depth study of that book, Papa's book, that uh, Inquest of God, and accordingly, Swami was also delivering lectures, and many of the devotees were keep on reading it. In fact, Pujya Krishna Bai Mataji once told that everyone has to read Inquest of God at least eleven times and dwell on those points, dwell on Papa's. Quotes the apart sayings, so that it will benefit them in their spiritual journey. So it was accordingly. If one year was devoted by the Anandashram, and all the devotees of Anandashram, 
Fabio Stanioff, the book. <clears throat> so I will share some of my thoughts on this. How does it, how it will help? The study of inquest of God, how it will help us? That point I want to emphasize. I want to little dwell upon that point. You see that <clears throat> in the devotees of Bhagavan Ramana, the devotees of Ramoshta Paramsa, Papa, Shivananda, Amradanta Bhi Mataji, many of them, those who have not had the darshan of them, they used to say that we were not fortunate to be in that presence when they were alive. So that thought will be always there. It will be disturbing them. Many people have told me also, we were not there at that time. So it was our, no, it's not our luck. We did not have that luck, they used to say. So this thought is not uh, something, it's a new idea. This thought there, this thought was there even in the olden times also. When Bhagavan Krishna, having completed his all his leaders in the avatara, then he decided to go back to his original abode. His avatara, the purpose of avatara, whatever he has to accomplish, he has accomplished. So he wants to go back. Then somehow Uddhava, his close friend, Shishya, he realized that, he understood that Bhagavan is preparing himself to go back to his abode. Then one day he asked Bhagavan, I understand that you have decided to go back to your place. And your avatara is for to put an end to all these problems in this Kali Yuka. And once you go back again the Kali will come here. And you will not have any avatara in this Kali Yuka. Then how your devotees Fine. will find solution for the problem? In your absence, how they will how they can manage? So they will not be able to manage, so you be here. He says, Bhagavan said, yes, there is one point, what is in this correct? In my absence, there, there won't be anybody to guide them. So what to do, Bhagavan also thought about it. And then Bhagavan said, don't worry, although I will not be physically available here, I will be available in another form. So he said this Bhagavad, he entered into Bhagavad, they say. He entered into Bhagavad. So it is his Vangmaya Murti actually. Srimad Bhagavad Akhyoyam Pratyakshat Krishna Yadahi. So Bhagavan entered into Bhagavad, they say. So by coming in contact with Bhagavad, by reading Bhagavad, he will feel the presence of God there. And Bhagavad, through Bhagavad, Bhagavan will guide you also. Likewise, Papa's presence you will find in this book in quest of God. In all other books you will find, but in this book specially, for all those devotees, for all those seekers, a past persons can be fully uh, seen. His presence will be there. So, <clears throat> the study of in quest of God is in fact a direct contact with Papa and probably Papa has motivated Swami Muktanji Maharaj to take up this. Maybe Mataji's motivation may be also there because Mataji already told eleven times you. Eleven times it is not Upalakshana, eleven is not eleven. Keep on reading it until you find the solution for all your problems. Probably that is Mataji's presence, Mataji's motivation and Papa's presence and Papaji's Papa motivation are all there in this book. So it was uh, the, the idea of to dwell, to dive deep into this book, to dwell on this Papa's book, In Quest of God, is a wonderful thought, is a wonderful sadhana for all the seekers, and we should immensely thank Mutanji Maharaj for having brought out this solution for all our problems. <coughs> Second thing is, why we study, keep on, read again and again, it's called Swadhyaya. 
सो इन योगसूत्र स्वाध्यायाष्टदेवता प्रयोग बै कॉन्स्टेंट रूबिंग ऑफ दैट दि बुक विल रूबी एक्चुअली बुक विल रूबी विथ सर सो इन दस्ट रीडिंग इट मे नॉट बी वेरी क्लियर टू अर्स सेकेंड रीडिंग थर्ड रीडिंग दि शास्त्र विल रूबी विथ सर दि शास्त्र कृपा विल बी दर इज कंटिन्यूअसली रीडिंग मै आई विल रूबी टू हिम लाइक दट दि शास्त्र विल रूबी So I will say a small story on this account. Once there was a king, and one shastri, one pandit used to go and read to him the Bhagavad. Every day he would go and read, and explain. The pandit will hear him, and so he was doing it, and he was giving him some lection also. So the shastri passed away. So after this, functions are over. His son went to the king and told him, "Maharaj, my father was reading and explaining this Bhagavad to you. This seva was there. Now, if you are pleased, you may give that seva to me." Then Maharaj told, asked him, "Have you read it? Have you read it nicely? Do you know? Yes, I know. All right, you do one thing. You read for one more month, and then come here," he said. So he studied for one month, and then after one month he went to the Maharaj and said, "I'll keep on reading for one month. Can I come from tomorrow?" He read it for one more month and come. He said. So he started reading for one more month, and after the end of the second month, he again came and asked Maharaj, "Can I come from tomorrow?" And Maharaj said, "One more month, you read that." Then he went back, and then the third month was over. The fourth month was over. The boy is not coming. Then Mara sent a word to him. So you are not coming back. I find so much peace and joy. And wherever I read, it is okay. Whether I read it here or read it there, it is okay. I find so much peace. He said like that. All right. From tomorrow onwards, you come. Tomorrow onwards you come and read for me," he said. So the shastra will reveal actually. It will bring about what is required. You will accomplish everything by mere swadhyaya. So at the for all spiritual seekers, swadhyaya is essential. It is not necessary that you should know the meaning and other things. You keep on reading it; it will itself will reveal actually. So as you keep on reading, new new ideas will come. You will know the different dimensions of the city, and finally, the shastra will swallow you actually. And there is the need to read anything else will end there. The desire to know will also stop because you have achieved that knowledge is already gone actually. So the Yeah, even after the completion of this, after 31st December, the year-long program will be over. But all the devotees of Ashram, all the devotees of Papa, will keep on reading this in quest of God and other books also, especially in quest of God, until they achieve what they want. This is my sharing. May Papa, Mata Ji, and Swami Ji's blessings be ever upon. All of you, may you all have good health, long life, peace, prosperity, and plenty, and may you achieve that spiritual enlightenment. In this birth itself, Hari Om.